G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Sega 12. This is a standalone shotgun type weapon that is with the uh, modern firearms mod. And yeah, there's a bunch of shotguns that are included in this mod. I haven't touched shotguns yet in a weapon showcase video, so yeah, I thought as, I might as well go ahead and see one of the shotguns and see what they can do. And uh, starting off with the base damage here at 630, so yeah, seems to be going alright so far. So for the attachments, we've got the standard receiver or the adaptive one. Or the adaptive one just tucks a tactical rail up on the top, which is nice. But if you want to retain the look of the regular AK type weapon, then you're more than welcome to leave that as the standard. Alright, so for the barrels here, obviously we're going to go for that big old long barrel because that'll give us the best damage and the best range. And that's sort of what you want to go for with a shotgun. A shotgun with a strong range is probably going to do you good. Anyway, so for the hand grips, we can actually put on quite a lot of things here, which is kind of nice, but I'm liking that polymer hand grip there. It retains that nice shape, it doesn't look old like the wood AK thing, but as you can tell, yeah, there's a heap of things going on here. So yeah, the customization options with this one are through the roof, just like most of the uh, things with the modern weapons tag on them. And I think it's a pretty good idea to... Uh, make the same thing polymer so it all matches but again you get so many stocks there this it's actually quite brilliant and for the magazine here you've got the 12 round box 8 rounds 20 round drum and also 30 round drum which is absolutely huge but uh yeah yeah we'll chuck that in that is obviously a, just a giant shotgun uh combat shotgun drum there and it works pretty well that i believe this drum right here is either from a... No, I don't think I recognize that. That's definitely not from the handmade rifle. But yeah, we'll go for a 30 drum, even though it's probably pushing it a bit too far. And for the sights here, let's see if we can find ourselves one of those Russian sights they usually have on it. Not the aim point. Do they have a... Oh, they don't have a Cobra. That's unfortunate. Uh, we'll go for just a, a holographic then with the 3D one. Yeah, we'll go for that one. And you can put a choke on this thing to actually sort of um, improve the spread a bit. So that's actually kind of useful because the spread on this thing with the short barrel, I was testing it out before just shooting at a wall. It's pretty high. So yeah, you know what? We'll put on a full choke on that and this thing will be a quite a good shotgun. I might go ahead and change that before we go into the gunner's play. I just want to tune that properly. So they've got a bunch of under barrel attachments, but they don't chop because I haven't got a tactical rail down there. That's fine. And we can change this thing's ammo. This is 12 gauge. You can change that to Dragon's Breath, which is like an incendiary version, or a giant slug, which is kind of cool. But for the moment, we'll keep that on 12 gauge there, and we'll change it up later if needed. And you can make this full auto if you feel like it. We're going to keep this at semi for now. And with the, the uh, paints here, you can change the look of the Eero Tech. I don't think anything else is compatible with that is currently attached to this weapon but you might experiment and see things more things that are so that is our sega 12 that we're going to take in the gunners plaza hopefully it's a good one and hopefully we won't get killed by superior rifle type weapons but we'll see right oh, here we are in gunners plaza with this shotgun and divert your eyes children because the reloads aren't quite as good as they should be Oh, look at that telekinesis of turning the uh, charging handle there. Alright, let's get into some of these gunners here. Now, these guys are going to be armed with uh, very, very powerful um, rifles. So, um, it's important for shotguns to do a lot of damage and stagger a lot or just uh, make it generally a lot harder for enemies to kill you. Otherwise, you'll be running yourself into just a bullet storm and you'll be dead very quickly. Fortunately, as you can see here, yeah, the shotgun is doing just that. So, the reason why I choose the Sega is because um, I've actually had sort of experience with this weapon back in Battlefield 3 and 4. I remember that was like a Sega 12K or something, so yeah, that's kind of cool. I always sort of like the weapons that I see in Battlefield 4 because usually they're done well. And uh, yeah, they're kind of uh, easily memorable. I like the weapons in the Battlefield games. Except for Battlefield 1, I only use tanks. Anyways, we'll go ahead and shoot that gunner there. And it's good. It's worth mentioning that you can put suppressors under this, but obviously I'm not using this as a stealth weapon because I'm just running in like a crazy raider. That's why I've got Rain along with us today, and also it's her turn. So yeah, doing this, we're easily able to take out these gunners. And with those knockdowns that we get every so often, we can actually... Okay, she's got something scary. 
I recognize that sound from a very powerful weapon in this mod, so I gotta be very careful when it comes to this. Okay, so we're up close and personal, which is where we wanna be. Okay, even though you got a vanilla gorse rifle, you're easy to kill, you're a bit of a joke. Yep, and with those knockdowns there, we can quickly disarm the threat, close in, and then just give them a whole heap of buckshot to the face. So the damage here is definitely going to be able to, uh, yeah, compete with them. Although, I'm at a high level here, and under normal circumstances, I'm super tanky anyway. But if you're running into this place at a lower level where everyone's got these guns, then yeah, you might find yourself having a little bit more trouble. That being said, I'm going overly aggressive here, so you could probably slow up your gameplay a bit just to have more survivability. And yep, as you can tell there, copying a 50 cal to the um, something. Oh, nice physics game. Please don't ever fix this, Todd. It will just kill you on the way down. Man, shotguns are fun with this mod. I mean, in normal circumstances in this game, shotguns are fun, but yeah, with the advent of knocking people down with the bad physics and all of that, that just makes it brilliant. And you can even sort of reach out all the way over there. The um, combat shotgun wouldn't even dream of having a range like that, so that's kind of good. Unless you're using explosive, because obviously it's explosive. Um, I'd imagine this thing would be absolutely devastating with that, so you know what, we won't even try it with that. But there you have it, as soon as I can kill this turret. That was the Sega 12 from the Modern Firearms mod in Gunners Plaza there, and doesn't it kick ass. Alright, so now that we know that this thing does well, let's take on some super mutants. They're going to be armed with uh, Modern Weapons 2, and they're going to be a little bit more tanky, so the stakes have been a little bit raised. Have yourself a stim pack, Rain, you're going to need it. Alright, now we're into felons here and no time for stealthy, we'll just go ahead and charge right into the super mutant warlords and hopefully the Sega here will make uh, easy sort of uh, work out of them. Okay, that guy's got a big scary gun so you get to get knocked down and whilst you're getting up, ooh, okay, I'm glad he didn't hit me too many times with that, is that a, yep, that's a 20mm minigun right there, yeah, that'll, that'll mess your day up. Righto, so first of all, yeah, getting those little knockdowns on the super mutants is an excellent way, again, to go ahead and, uh, yeah, just disarm the damage, and then you can run up close and fill them so much full of buckshot that they can't uh, live anymore, which is generally what you do with shotguns. Ooh, I think that one's got a M60 or something. Okay, you're kind of scary, so if I could just stop uh, ragdolling you so you can sort of actually be shot at properly, then that would be good. So that's something interesting. Oh, that's a bad stagger too. And again, you've got some sort of high-powered rifle, and wow, the physics on this thing are getting crazy now. I think it's, um... Well, I was getting shot by 338. Like, ooh, no wonder I was being staggered. Yeah. Even though the mod is aimed to make these weapons super powerful by adding all this damage and all of that, um, yeah, you can still get shot in the chest by those things and yeah, just a stagger and that's it. That's fine. So yeah, for realism's sake, it's probably not too much. Okay. So we got staggered back there and hit by something. Please get rid of you. Where's your mate? Z take a runner over here? Well, hopefully we can catch up to him before my slow-mo runs out. We definitely can. And now that he's knocked down and he's just going to keep going, apparently. Yet something's wrong with the physics on this thing. It keeps just pushing enemies super duper far, which is... It's comically uh, funny, but it's a little bit impractical because i got to chase them around everywhere. And for some reason, they still haven't detected me yet. I was using a suppressed Glock yesterday, and as soon as one detected me, they all did. But, uh... Not here, this thing's a very quiet shotgun it would seem, and if you could just stop moving for a second, that would be good. I don't think the humans were moving or ragdolling like that when I was shooting them, maybe it's just a super mutant thing. Anyways, we've got ourselves into hidden once again, which is questionable, but we'll go ahead and take out the super mutant here, and fill him full of buckshot. Now I know he's got a mate over here, so if we could just get a quick knockdown on him. Okay, that guy's only got a super sledge, I'll leave him alone for now. We'll Fusrud uh, him down here, and uh, yeah, looks like this thing is powerful enough to give you the Dragonborn ability, so um, don't need to... Um, learn the shouts off a wall of power, you just pick up a Sega and you can do this yourself. And that's all the red roots we have here, and the last straggler doggos will quickly finish them off. Don't even bother howling, mate. 
And there you go, that was a Sega 12K against very high level Super Mutants there. And it does pretty well, even though you will get your aim thrown off by all the things there, and hopefully not get shot at by the Super Mutants too much to kill you. Yeah, you can actually wreck face in here, which is pretty good. We'll go ahead and move on to a monster. We'll give Swan a rest for now. I think we've killed him too many times, and it might even be getting boring for the viewer at this stage, so we'll move on to a different monster. Okay, we're in the middle of a radiation storm here. Let's go ahead and kill this ghoul. Now, this guy's only an upscaled uh, vanilla enemy, so, yep, he should be nice and susceptible to lock knockdowns, which means we can, if we can just get him anchored into a point where he'd go ahead and just keep on being sort of uh, knocked down, then that would be good. We've picked up a few of his mates, though, so we'll just finish them off. And before he gets up, we'll hopefully knock him down again. We'll try to wedge the bugger in the corner or something just to get him to stop moving around because for some reason, you just push them with this, which is kind of weird. And it sort of stops and he caught up on himself, but we'll just go ahead and just spam that trigger. And you can really rattle off shots quickly with this thing, which is kind of nice. Pop a quick reload there as he's standing up. And I think bad hitboxes there prevented me from shooting him for a bit, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and keep on hitting him and off he goes again looks like we'll have to chase him a little bit further down got ourselves fully submerged then and you know what we'll go ahead and use this thing in bats for a bit and according to this we'll only take two shots to get him but bats might be a horrible dirty liar and i'm pretty sure i didn't have to reload but yep okay now that he's that far away our shots aren't doing nearly as much so probably not worth even taking that second shot there He's in the water now, so he's going to have to actually drift to a uh, place where flat ground is to get back up. So we'll just finish him off from there. And also, nice dance, Mr. Mylurk. You can go ahead and get Sagan too. And do we have a synth over there we could kill? I think we can. But first, no, I'm going to leave you alone. I've already killed enough Mylurks today. Or have I? All right. So, oh uh, no. Lobster, don't ruin this for me. Okay, that's fine. She hasn't detected me just yet. Or it. Sorry, it's a synth. Not worth of calling gendered pronouns that you would for an actual woman. There we go. Okay, stealth's up. I can't crown the witch. We can't play Left 4 Dead. So unfortunately, you're just going to get the uh, old uh, knockdown buckshot treatment. So uh, open wide, would ya? And a crit. Down you go. And we get 500 bottle caps for their troubles and too much XP. That is way too much. All right, so we know this thing is good one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go ahead and try this with a little bit of crowd control, I think. All right, oh, so there's going to be a bunch of bears over there. We'll test out this thing's crowd control power just by sneaking up nice and close to them and letting go with trigger. And yep, it appears these ones can be knocked down as well. So... We'll just get them all knocked down as we go along. And we'll try to keep them all knocked down as we go. But uh, it's going to be hard with a bunch of bears going around. We'll just have to sort of sweep them across the ground as we go along. That one's definitely dead now. And that dusky is almost dead as well. So we'll quickly just knock you down, mate. Send you into a tree. And down you go. Almost finished you off. And looks like that is all the duskies dead. Ancient Commonwealth Bear has decided to not fight me here. But he's run into some sort of random encounter there, so that'll distract him for a little bit. Knowing that we can knock him down, we'll go ahead and just get nice and close to the bastard. And we'll clean up these rust devils while we're at it. Yeah, I'm, I've got no time for Allo Raiders, thank you very much. Ooh, you're a legendary too. Have you dropped anything good? No, you haven't. Alright, yeah, this is an over bear. Just hold still and... Uh... Ooh, he's actually hit us there somehow. And we'll go ahead and just... Get him a little bit in fat, and now he's getting away because for some reason shotgun pellets can do that to a giant bear. So, uh, yep, I think we're going to be chasing him for quite a bit, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever, it's comical at least. So, we try to push him in a way that gets him nice and stuck. And I'm pretty sure there's an overpass down there, which if I could just catapult him down there. Yep, yeah, looks like he's in a position to just stay stuck if I just uh, hit him against the walls a few times. So try to get him in the corner. There's a rad stag there. No interfering with my video, please. And into a corner, we'll try to wedge you. And then we'll get nice and close and fill you full of buckshot, clicking the mouse as fast as possible. 
with a little bit of shaking there because I'm actually taking my hand off the mouse to click it like that. Although it's a little bit hard to control the recoil at the same time. So now we've got him wedged into a corner. All we need to do is just sort of knock him down and find his head. By the time he's getting up, he's gotten up. We've already sort of loaded our 30 round drum in, so it's a good idea to get as much ammo capacity as it can when it comes to taking out things. And yeah, this is the most anticlimactic fight I've ever ha had against this dainty Commonwealth bear. But at least his suffering is over and bloody hell, look at the poor at him. No wonder he does so much damage. That'd rip your bloody guts out just by looking at it. But there you have it, that was the Sega 12 with the uh, Modern Firearms mod. And I kind of wish there was a sort of a standalone version of this because this thing is a, actually quite a cool weapon. But yep, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, be sure to check out the description. This is for Xbox One and PC. You can pick it up from either Lover's Lab or um, ModDB if you're on PC. But obviously with Xboxes on Bethesda.net. Links will be provided in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, the Rain Companion mod's still coming soon. So if you're looking out for that, don't worry.